वेलकम वंस अगेन माय नेम इज आलोक श्रीवास्तव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू नेटवर्क नट्स थ्रू यूट्यूब और आई कैन से यू वाचिंग नेटवर्क नट्स ऑन यूट्यूब ऑफ कोर्स सो एज यू नो दैट वी हैव अ वेरी बैड हैबिट ऑफ शेयरिंग मोर देन व्हाट इज देयर इन द करिकुलम एंड इट्स एक्चुअली नॉट अ बैड हैबिट इट्स एक्चुअली अ वेरी गुड हैबिट दैट अनलेस एंड अनटिल वी गिव यू द वाव इन अवर ट्रेनिंग्स वी आर नॉट एट ऑल सेटिस्फाइड वी नेवर वर्क फॉर द सेटिस्फेक्शन we work for wow factor if the wow is coming in in our trainings then i am very happy if the wow is not at all coming then i need to do something else <laughs> so in the same series of wow i'm uh, giving you uh, this small particular video this small video i'm going to show you how to use ip tables for limiting the number of connections it's very interesting it's a like a thing that is not actually taught in rse or rscss curriculum and i if i'm not wrong on and to be very modest these things are not taught at any institutes actually and as we have the students coming from all over the northern india to do rsc and the rsc ss i found these things are lacking there they are just sticking to the books so as the time is ag is again a factor so i found a very good uh, medium the youtube medium to share my small knowledge with you so i'm sharing this so in this small video i'm using the ip tables for limiting the connection it's very interesting one say the scenario is that suppose you have a ftp server but you want to limit the total number of tcp connections or total number of connections to certain n number say 80 connections or 90 connections how can you do this using ip tables there may or may not be the option available for the total number of connection within a particular server like uh, there might be a option in the ftp server the, but there may or may not be the option in the ssh but you just need not to bother about the configuration of the server that whether that particular option is available within that server or not you can always use the ip tables for your rescue using ip tables you can always limit the total number of connections that a particular server is going to cater at a given time or simultaneously so let me show you here i am using the example of a sss server uh, just see here the first thing that you need to do is that you need to load a particular module so i use a mode probe command xt underscore con limit you just need to load this module because this module actually uh, by uh, like uh, attaching itself with the ip table will give you that that flexibility and the facility so i loaded the module let me check with the ls mod command i give ls mod pipe grab con limit so here i have the module is loaded successfully now to make it permanent means the module should be lo be loaded uh, automatically after every subsequent reboot i need to do a respective entry in the rc.local file so i go to the rc.local file and i just write the same command here mode probe xt underscore con limit so i put up a comment here for loading xt underscore con limit module at reboots that's great so just add this line in the rc dot local file now start configuring your ip table so i gave here ip tables hyphen i input where the protocol is the tcp hyphen f and sync sin or you call, we call it sync sync option is actually means that this rule is applied to all the tcp packets those are designed or those are trying to initiate or start the connection means the rule will be applied only when the packet is trying to initiate or start a new connection the rule will not be applied to any data packet that is actually transferring the data so for that purpose we use the sync option sync hyphen hyphen d port 22 as i am configuring this rule on from the ssh you can use the ftp just replace it with 2021 or any other port m con limit then hyphen hyphen con limit hyphen above 2 hyphen j reject very simple rule it means i am inserting a rule in my ip tables the protocol is the tcp sync option is being used so the rule is applied to those packets those are initiating or starting the connection the rule will be listening on the port number 20 i am using the con limit hyphen hyphen con limit above 2 means if there are more than two packets those are 
trying to establish the connection the uh, after two all the packets should be rejected with a respective or a proper message my rule is being saved i i will just show you here ip tables hyphen l i use the hyphen n because i don't want a name resolution here i give hyphen less here it is the first rule reject any source and if it is trying to hit at 22 with a particular message it is greater than 2 then reject with this particular message i can use a service ip table save command to make it permanent so let me try now so what i'm doing here i've got a virtual machine for the testing i open up my virtual machine i op open up a terminal i make it bigger for you i use ssh root at the rate 172.24.0.252 252 is the ip address of my server where i had configured the rule i am establishing the first connection i give the password i am not going to share you the password oh wrong password i give it again oh sorry i am actually giving the wrong password bingo the first session of ssh has been established successfully i am opening next terminal the second terminal trying to establish connection once more root at the rate 172.24.0.252 i am not going to share the password the second connection is also successfully established let us try to make a third connection which i think should be denied as per my rule ssh root at the rate 172.24.0.252 great my rule is working as you can clearly see here the ssh connection has been denied on port number 22 on the third connection first connection was established second connection was established third my machine has simply refused it i'll just do a exit here so i'll go back to my machine so my means my rule is working properly so it is a very interesting and a very useful thing to limit the load on your server think of it if you have got a apache server and you want to limit the simultaneous connections i hope you like the video thank you very much and see you again soon with more interesting tips and tricks via youtube thank you very much god bless